Welcome to your Daily Devil reading. Today we are going to be using the Priestess of the Light Oracle along with the Wave the Panda Tarot Mini to get you two card combos to choose from for your message. So I'm going to start with the Priestess of the Light Oracle. This is the time, of course, when you tune into your intuition for a this or that question and answer segment so that your intuition can guide you to the card combo that's going to provide you with the message or the piece of insight that you need to know. I'm seeing this one. Let's get that out there. All right. Oh, no. They know they want this one. Okay. Got those. Let's add some mini tarots to these cards. Don't this? No. <laughs> Keep shuffling. Ah, oh, there it is. Thank you. All right, let me set these so you can see them well. All right, there you go. Card combo one or card combo two. Which one is your intuition leading you to for your message today? Once you make your selection, just head on down to the timestamp and click the timestamp that is next to, head on down to the description and click the timestamp that is next to your card combo of choice. And I will see you in your daily double reading. Hello, Group 1, and welcome to your Daily Double reading today. If you're listening to this, you've chosen the first card combo here. So let's first take a look at the message that's coming through the cards for you from the Priestess of the Light. Ooh, sensuality, 38. Feminine, wisdom, passion. This is reconnecting to your sacral chakra for sure. This is tapping into what drives you, that power within, the feminine energy, the wisdom that is gained through that. This is about passion, inspiration, sexuality, sensuality. I love this energy. Let us get more information and see what's connected here. Ooh, the Queen of Pentacles. This is a beautiful mothering energy. I feel like it's almost like she's kind of taking care of that tiger or she knows that tiger so, so well, right? She's um, nurturing that tiger. <laughs> Maybe the tiger is nurturing her as well. The Queen of Pentacles is a very abundant, prosperous queen. She is a patient mother. She is connected to her feminine energy and knows that the abundance that she has is just going to multiply and multiply. So this is really about trusting your feminine energy, being patient with the tools that you have and what you're working with, perhaps being patient and loving with others. This feels... Um, Connected to that, like I said, it's like that inner uh, passion point or passion center or it's that inner feeling center, right? So emotions will be involved in this for sure. But because you're getting a queen of earth here, it's very grounded, abundant energy that's happening for you today. This is about patience, trusting your feminine wisdom, trusting your intuition, trusting that you are connected to abundance and that you will be inspired through the day as long as you can practice patience. The queen of pentacles is lovely because she just trusts that, you know, abundance shows up for her in all ways. She leans back. She's not afraid to give a helping hand or do a bit of work and she really enjoys her physical experience so you may want to tap into your physicality today in some way shape or form if you know what I mean really enjoy your body enjoy some good food enjoy wearing something nice be patient and kind to yourself and trust that you are completely in a prosperous abundant grounded state so I hope that this serves you for the day if you enjoyed this reading and you don't want to miss any of my future readings you know what to do do, and I will see you in the next Daily Double. Hello, Group 2, and welcome to your Daily Double reading today. If you're listening to this, you've chosen the second card combo here for your message. So let's see what the Priestess of the Light Oracle has to say first. Card number 20, and innovations, new creations, yes, 
raise your hands to the sky and connect to the divine light. That's what they just said. Okay, just like she's doing. And also, these are owls that she's kind of holding and are being attracted to her palm, the chakras in her palm. This is about really bringing, it feels like bringing your creations to life. That's what it feels like. So this is about continuing to move on something that you're already doing because we have a two here. Twos are really about couplings. So maybe you're working with someone to innovate something. Or I like to read twos a lot of times as like, keep going, you're on the right track. Because when you're in a one energy, you know, you're just beginning. When you get twos from the universe, they're saying, okay, keep on heading. You, you know, you've made the right selection or you've got the right idea. Keep on going in this direction. I feel like this is about lighting yourself up and sort of giving yourself a pat on the back. Like spirit saying, yes, that's a good idea. Yes, that is innovative. Yes, that idea was uh, right on. Yes, that's the right insight. It's a. It feels like an affirming card here for you, uh, group number two. Let's see what's connected here. Ah, the three of pentacles. Interesting. Um, so this energy is about community and using your resources, working together with others. So again, you may be coupling up with somebody or working with someone else. I mean, we can't ignore it now. We've got the three of pentacles to bring a new creation to life or maybe just chat about it, brainstorm about it. When you get a three of pentacles, it's about, as I said, being very resourceful with the physical things that you have. So if you're thinking about something or maybe you're just trying to innovate in your regular life, you're like, you know, the way that I've been doing this is not the best. I feel like there's something that I could shift or change to make this better. If that's the case, they're saying go ahead and do it. Look around, look at what you got, and shift it a bit to see if it works for you. In any case, you want to be connected to, because these chakras are in the palm of her hands, it's like whatever is coming through your channel, you want to be able to bring it into life, bring it to life. And here you've got the perfect card to do that. If you need help or you need friends to help you, this is a good idea to ask them today, help you bring that to life. Like, let's say you have, um, they're showing me somebody, this is just random, but it's a bookshelf, right? It's like one of those bookshelves that are, um, they're like built into a wall. That's what it looks like. It's built into a wall and it's just, it doesn't function well. There's like a lot of spaces that are not being used well. There's like cab, you know, there's cabinets in places there shouldn't be, things like that. If you have friends who are like carpenters or who are handymen or who are just handy in general and they know how to shift that, you may invite them over and, you know, buy them drinks, buy them dinner, whatever it may be, get them snacks, feed them, and ask them to help you um, shift it so that it does work in a better way. So make sure that you're open to the creative channeling that you're doing today is what I would say. And then actually take bring it back down to earth and to reality and take a look around at who might be able to help you with that, what kind of tools you have to use to bring that to life. It's definitely about innovating something and really leaning into new ideas, new creations. It's like creativity in the mind being brought to life. So I hope that this serves you for today. If you enjoyed this reading and you don't want to miss any of my future readings, you know what to do. And I'll see you in the next Daily Double.